Okay. This one is reveal your crush's secret fantasy and then try to seduce them. Uh, alrighty, let's see. Everybody's a little different, so it could basically be anything. Um, so, let's see. You have the fool in reverse, no trust, commitment. We have the Queen of Swords with an independent person. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with um, no eternal changes, no endings or beginnings. We have the Six of Swords with not leaving a conflict behind, no escape. We have the Hermit with solitude, we have the five of pentacles, the financial loss, lack, and anxiety, we have the ace of cups with emotional growth, friendship, love, um, fertility, beginnings, we have the tower with upheaval and shock, we have the queen of cups in reverse with not caring um, conditional love and not an intuitive woman. Okay. So, your crush's secret fantasy and deepest desire is somebody who's sassy, will be talk again, so you're kind of mysterious. A hundred dollars, somebody who has a Mustang, either a pet or a car. Um, strength of character, um, blocked, scam call, or a text. Probably from them. Somebody who doesn't talk that much on the phone, I guess. Um, and seduce. How to make your crush powerless to your charms. We have $500, $500. Long journey. Do you want her? We have DM, now karmic. And we have manager emotions. So, way to seduce anybody is not to talk too much. Not to give them too much information. Make it look like you're unavailable and they literally have to, like, find you. <laughs> Believe me, it works. But it works too good. But, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Guys like to hunt and women like to be stalked. I don't know. Some women don't. Some women, like myself, carry pepper spray. But anyway, we have sexy potential, you and your crush, in bed do you want him? We have $10. We have $17,000. We have higher purpose for the single a divine female. We have jazz. We have a cult following. Um, so together you could be a power couple, but separately it's kind of, yeah, you don't know. You, you have to kind of commit to like a lifestyle, I guess. But, like, I, I just feel like this is um, more of a fantasy than anything else. Um, having a cult following is an all it's cracked up to be, if you understand my drift. But I do have, like, 10 million people watching me, like, every day. So it's not all bad. Um, I do get a lot more than like 10 million views. I just don't get enough subscribers to justify that. Um, so, you know, it could be anywhere from that number to above 45 million because of other attributes in my social media. Anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out. I just feel like this is an entire fantasy. This is point of um, grandiose delusion, but, um, yeah, some guys like independent women, strong of character, they do their own damn thing, and then for some reason or another, they need a boyfriend, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but, um, yeah, they want somebody that does their own thing and then meets up with them for dinner or some shit like that, and I'm not with it. If I'm doing other shit, I'm doing other shit. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. But anyway, 
I will see you in the next rating, and hopefully this doesn't go too to your head, but you do have to be available to some degree, you do have to do your own thing to some degree, and you do have to have your other hobbies to some degree, so it's not entirely a dry conversation, let's put it to you that way, but anyway, I'll see you later, and take care of yourselves, alright?